What do you think is the most common misconception about worship? Pastor Brad, what would you say is the most common yeah. misconception people the, have about worship? The most common one is that it's music and it's yeah. it's not just music. It's That's one aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. Uh, but to me, really worship is just, it's, it's our response to God. It's obedience. Yes. You know, it's like, so when I'm, you know, doing all that I should at my workplace and not cutting corners, that's obedience to God. If I'm, you know, uh, loving my wife and my kids in the way that God's called me to, that's worship, that's yeah. obedience. Yeah. If I'm spending time with the Lord and His Word and, and prayer, that's obedience, that's worship. All these right. things, anything can be worship as we're doing it unto the Lord. Sure. Um, so, but I think, yeah, a lot of people think that worship is just the music and that's just one, one, aspect. one avenue. Okay. I would love anyone that would come to our, our church to understand the opportunity that they have to live a lifestyle of worship yeah, and to be in relationship with God as creator. Yeah. There's different aspects. It's not just the singing or the, the praise, but it's also how you treat your spouse, your children, how you raise them, how, what you do with your finances. And I think a lot of people don't realize that that is an available opportunity for them on a daily basis, which would constitute a lifestyle of worship. Yeah. Ultimately, no matter what we do, the only reason our praise is acceptable is because of the cross sure. anyway. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we're not earning God's favor by no. raising our hands. We're not earning God's favor by, by singing more or something. It's just, we, we do want those things to overflow out of our relationship and, and love for the Lord um, to bless Him and bless His people. But at the end of the day, it's the cross and, and Christ that make our praise even acceptable.